Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, on the victims of the church fire in Giza, which resulted in many deaths and injuries. His Majesty the King offered most sincere condolences to the Egyptian President and people, as well as the victims' families, stressing the kingdom's solidarity with Egypt in this painful incident. He wished the victims' families' patience and the injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, following the fire that broke out in Abu Sifin Church in Giza, which took lives and left several injured. His Royal Highness expressed his condolences to President al-Sisi, the Egyptian people and the families of the victims, stressing Bahrain's solidarity with Egypt in the aftermath of the tragic incident and wished a speedy recovery to the injured. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Egypt, Dr. Mustafa Midbouli. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gulaybiya Palace. The cabinet began by thanking the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the heads of government committees and the government agencies who participated at the Future Aspiration Workshop. The cabinet noted that their efforts contributed to identifying 27 policies and 113 initiatives that addressed aspirations in a range of policy areas, including infrastructure, environment, legislative work, social services, finance and economics, government performance and digital transformation. The cabinet directed the continuation of all efforts to realize these aspirations through initiating programs that will benefit the kingdom and its citizens. To mark International Youth Day, the cabinet affirmed its commitment to enhancing the contributions of Bahraini youth to the kingdom's comprehensive development, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The cabinet also commended His Royal Highness's commitment to amplifying the role of the Bahraini youth through continued efforts to create valuable opportunities that encourage their participation and foster their capability in contributing to the kingdom's ongoing progress and development. The cabinet highlighted the contributions of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports under the leadership of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for introducing initiatives that paved the way for cultivating Bahraini youth's innovation and excellence. The Cabinet also reviewed an MOU by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding Bahrain's 2022 mid-year financial report for the period ending on 30th June 2022. The MOU revealed the results of mid-year financial report, which are indications of the outcomes of the Kingdom's commitment to fulfilling the fiscal balance program. The results showed that actual revenues collected increased by 52%, achieving f savings of 33 million Bahraini dinars, which contributing to reducing the financial needs to repay international bonds of public debt, including bonds worth 1.5 billion US dollars, equivalent to 5 165 Bahraini dinars, a million Bahraini dinars that were repaid until July. This is due to the rise in oil prices in international markets. These results are clear evidence that the government's disciplined approach to fiscal responsibility and long-term sustainability is proving effective. The Cabinet affirmed continuation of adopting initiatives and unifying efforts to achieve the objectives of the Fiscal Balance Programme. The Cabinet then reviewed an MOU by the Minister of Labour regarding the latest developments in employment and training for the first half of 2022. The MOU indicated that 14,321 Bahraini citizens were employed, which represents 72% of the annual goal of the Economic Recovery Plan's priority plan to employ 20,000 Bahraini annually until 2024, and a decrease in the unemployment rate from 7.5% to 5.7%. 
These outcomes followed the financial and economic packages that were launched during the COVID-19 global pandemic, the Economic Recovery Plan and the launch of the National Employment Programme. The cabinet then expressed its condolences to Egypt and the families of the victims in the tragic fire that broke out in Abu Sifin Church in Giza and wished a speedy recovery to those who were injured. The cabinet then discussed and approved the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Civil Service Council on the reconstruction of a number of ministries and government agencies to improve public sector performance and efficiency. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance on two reports regarding Bahrain's consolidated final account and the performance of implementing the Kingdom's general budget for the fiscal year 2021. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance on the establishment of an integrated health centre in Salman Town in cooperation with the private sector. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding proposed amendments to various decrees on the protection of antiquities. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on an agreement between the Kingdom of Bahrain Civil Aviation Affairs and the USA Federal Aviation Administration. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's uh, res uh, response to four proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet also reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Shura Council and Representatives Council Affairs on the draft law submitted by the government which remains within the legislative authority following the conclusion of the fourth regular session of the fifth legislative term. The cabinet then took note of a ministerial report submitted by the Minister of Tourism on the official visit by officials of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's tourism sector to Bahrain. The Council of Representatives Speaker Fawziya Zainal praised the positive indicators and distinguished results achieved within the framework of the Financial Balance Programme goals and the openness to advanced development steps that enhance the comprehensive national development under the leadership of His Majesty the King. She stressed that the effective programs and well thought out plans that have been implemented reflect the efforts of the government headed by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to reach the results announced by the cabinet. Today, regarding the results of the semi-annual closure of ministries and government agencies, Zainal praised the efforts of the government in achieving progress in the field of employment, which contributed to a decrease in the unemployment rate from 7.5% to 5.7%. She pointed out that the development and economic achievements made in a short period of time demonstrate the ability of Bahrain to overcome challenges and affirm its position in creating creative initiatives at the regional and global levels. The uh, chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, affirmed that continuing to achieve the goals of the Financial Balance Program reflects the success of the government's approach in adopting innovative initiatives thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He praised the Cabinet's announcement of increased revenue by 52% in 2022 compared to the same period last year and achieving financial savings worth 33 million Bahraini dinars. He praised the role of His Royal Highness in enhancing government practices and praised the positive steps taken by concerned bodies in decreasing unemployment by 5.7% and employing around 14,321 citizens. Asal affirmed keenness to enhance a cooperation with the legislative authority to enhance the legislative and national law system in the kingdom. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Infrastructure Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa chaired the Future Aspirations Workshop, which is the final workshop in a series of Future Aspiration Workshops held under the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister.
Cabinet Affairs Minister Ahmed El Malki reviewed the outcomes of the workshops, which were developed into 27 policies and 113 initiatives that address aspirations in a range of areas, including infrastructure, environment, legislative work, social services, finance and economics, government performance, and digital transformation, which will be submitted to the Executive Committee, chaired by His Royal Highness, for approval. Sheikh Khalid affirmed continuing efforts to achieve comprehensive national development thanks to the directives of His Majesty the King, which are considered a roadmap for government work to serve the country and citizens. He said that the government, led by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, is moving forward with implementing strategies and programs that aim to enhance the contribution of the public sector in the comprehensive development march. The minister noted that the starting points of government work are based on serving citizens and adding that the government will work to follow up on all developments, adapt to every emergency and determine the priorities of the next stage in a strategic and integrated manner based on the principles of justice, sustainability and competitiveness set by Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. He stressed that His Royal Highness's directives stem from the belief in the importance of strengthening participation in decision-making and the direct contribution in determining the optimal direction. The Deputy Prime Minister hailed the efforts of all ministries and government authorities in the workshops and expressed thanks to the heads of workshops that contributed in formulating advanced outputs, all participants from the public sector as well as the Ministry of Cabinet Affairs. He stressed the importance of solidarity within Team Bahrain to continue marking achievements to reach the desired development goals. The Minister of Labour and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, met with Saudi Minister of Human Resources and Social Development, Ahmed bin Suleiman Al Rajhi. The meeting discussed ways to enhance technical cooperation in the areas of job localization programs and labour market regulation, as well as plans to integrate job seekers and develop human resources. They reviewed the two kingdoms' plans in the field of training and qualifying citizens in addition to the applied professional standards. Rajhi reviewed the most important developments in the labor market in Saudi Arabia and the most important projects and initiatives launched in the framework of training and creating job opportunities, praising Bahrain's position and leadership in regulating the labor market, noting its experience in enhancing social protection for workers through the unemployment insurance system.